Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today we're playing with the iOS app. I'm using my iPad and I wanted to show you a little feature called Snap Mat, which is a very handy feature and a lot of people I don't uh, know if they know it's there or maybe they just don't know how to use it. So I thought I would give you a couple of ideas. So the first thing we're going to do is go into images and I have uploaded a Rolodex card. I'm going to add that to my mat just by clicking on it and click insert. Okay, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to the edit panel and change the width to four inches and click off of it. So we're all set there. The next thing we're going to do is add text and I want a writing style text. So what I did was click on this little filter and scroll up and go down here to has writing style make sure that's checked and then click back and I'm going to use this Dear John font. I'm going to click or add an address and I'm just going to make this up. This isn't really my address so don't get worried. So I'm just going to type an address in um, Just use one, two, three, any street. And we'll just use any town. Indiana. And we'll just make up an ad, a zip code. I have no idea if that's a real zip code. I doubt it. All right. So while that's selected, I'm going to get rid of my keyboard here. And I'm going to go to the edit panel and I know that my envelope that we're going to write on is about four inches wide. So again, while the edit panel is still up, I'm going to click on that width and change it to 4.00. Actually, let's go 3.5. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. So that's great. It should fit on my envelope and my Rolodex card. Next thing we need to do is make sure that it, this is selected to write, not cut. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the layers panel, click on the top layer there where my text is, click on that little arrow and change it to write. And you can change the color if you want. And that's great. The other thing I want to do is I wanna have two of these because we're going to write one on an envelope, we're gonna write one on a Rolodex card. So let's click on actions and duplicate the address. Okay, now we're all set. All we have to do is click make it and I'm gonna uh, replace the project that I was previously working on, no problem. And now you see we have two addresses, but how are those gonna write on my Rolodex card? Well, that's where the snap mat feature comes in. So we're going to click on the snap mat down here in the lower left. Okay, now you're going to see that I have already set up my mat with what we're going to be playing with. You can see I have an envelope, I have a Rolodex card, and I have a piece of pattern paper. And what we need to do is get this mat lined up. And what we're trying to do is get those blue balls lined up on the center line. So get the mat within frame and line up the, those blue balls. Okay, so now we have a picture of our mat. So we're going to click use. And you can see I have my addresses here. This is my writing mat. And I can move that address just by clicking on it and put it right on, oh, I made it a little too big for my um, Rolodex card. So let's go back to the canvas. And let's make this one a little bit smaller. Okay, no problem. Now let's click uh, make it, replace, snap mat. All right, let's do that again. And we have a picture of our mat. We're going to click use. All right, here's the smaller one. We're going to put that on the Rolodex card. And here's the larger one. We're going to put that on the envelope. And then we have another screen over here. We're going to click on that, and this is my Rolodex card. And again, I'm going to use the snap mat by clicking on it. 
going to line that up. Got a picture of it. We want to use it. Click on the upper right corner. And I can take this Rolodex card and I can decide where on that pattern paper I want this Rolodex to cut. So if I want to catch that bird down here, have him be on the card, I could do that. I could catch this one up here and I think I'm going to do it that way. So it's really cool because you can use your scraps and catch what you want. I'm going to try to get him right there on that paper and then I, we have both birds in frame. Okay, so super simple. Now we just click continue. And we're going to load our mat. You can see I have the envelope open so that it won't move. And I am in great shape. And it says to click go. I'm going to go ahead and put my pen in there. Unlock it. And I click go. And now it's cutting the Rolodex card exactly where I placed it on that pattern paper. And now it's telling me to reload the mat. I'm going to reload the mat. And this is where we need the pen. So I unloaded it. And now it's going to do the writing. Hit continue. And click go. Okay, and now it's going to do the writing. And it's telling me to put the pen in, which we've already done. And there you have it. So now you can see it is a perfect way to address an envelope, to add writing to a particular shape, in my case, a Rolodex card, or to use it to cut out a specific place on a uh, pattern piece of paper, or perhaps you're cutting a photo. This is it's just a really great feature, and I think a lot of people overlook it. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial informational and gave you some ideas on how to use the snap mat. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.